All right, Halloween is around the corner. Most of us love a good ghost story. Many are passed down for generations and may hold a grain of truth. So whether you believe in ghosts or not, those anecdotes can teach us a thing or two about the history of a person or a place. And it's good to know that you can treat yourself to your own ghost tour of some of Florida's most haunted places with the help of a new book. Brightside's Jenny Dean talked to the author of Creepy Florida, who shared some of Tampa's tall tales. Mark Muncy has been researching scary stuff most of his life, trying to conquer a childhood fear. And I remember going up in the attic and seeing this shadowy shape on the floor with uh, glowing red eyes, and that stays with me. I have nightmares about it to this day. For years, during October, he would transform his St. Pete home into Hellview Cemetery and do tours for donations to charity. And we got to the point where we were having about 5,000 people a weekend coming through my backyard, so so the city shut us down, victim of our own success. He had based his haunted house on true stories and people still wanted to hear them, so. My wife Carrie and I started traveling, went uh, 5,000 miles, uh, never left the state and got our first book out of it. And now we've done that trip about five times. We talked about his new book, Creepy Florida, at the Cuban Club in Ybor City, widely considered one of the most haunted places in America. There was the lady in white on the top stairs, and then there's the uh, actor who killed himself in the theater. Downstairs, you could go in this pool, and this one boy named Jaime, uh, he passed away in there, and now every night, they still leave, and we saw it this morning as we walked by, they leave a little ball for him to play with. Just down the block at the Don Vicente, ghosts of a nurse and a crazy doctor haunt the basement. And people would see these figures walk through the hall, dragging something behind them, and it was a nurse and a shadowy man, and it would walk right up to the wall and disappear. The Sulphur Springs Tower you can see driving along 275, that was flooded along with a lot of businesses in the 30s just before the Great Depression. So a lot of the business owners took their lives from that convenient tower and now ghosts are seen falling to their deaths over and over again from that tower. Muncie says one of the scariest places he's ever been is right here at this train trestle bridge over the Hillsborough River in Rowlett Park. Supposedly, a man was killed during the construction of that bridge. And legend has it that to this day, people will see a man out in the middle calling to them for help. When they walk out onto the bridge, that man turns into a spidery monster. And if a train's coming, well, the person then has no choice than to jump into the river or walk right into the monster. Now there's a lot of disappearances in that area. There's a lot of suicides off that bridge over throughout history. With all of these stories, I had one last question for Muncie. Do you believe in ghosts? I've got to say, we have had some crazy experiences. 